Hello everyone, thanks for tuning into today's second video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the next 10 14 days for today's second video. So day 10 will take us to the 1st of November. And we'll be able to set up your that with the Excel GFS and ECM ensembles. They are running to a radical of weeks. We'll have a look at CFS V2 at the end of the video for the next uh, four weeks. That will get us into the second half of November now. And I shall get on with that for you in a moment. Just say that first a video say. It was our 6M UK web forecast. Please like, share, and subscribe on both of today's bids. Thank you so much, everyone, for uh, doing that. Right, we're going to start off in the tropical and subtropical Atlantic. So we've now got tropical storm Melissa uh, down here, giving max maximum sustained winds of 50 miles per hour with a minimum set pressure of 1,000 millibars. Clicking on Melissa and going here. We can see that this is actually predicted to become a major hurricane um, by the beginning of next week. So, current position is just there. It looks like Melissa will very, very slowly, only very slowly, be moving northwards. And then we'll start to curve eastwards to the south of Jamaica. And uh, I say by Monday, predicted to become a major hurricane. If we go to discussion... Uh, we can see that maximum sustained winds are predicted to reach 120 miles per hour in 120 hours. That is a Category 3 hurricane. So we shall keep you updated on the progress of Melissa. Latest wind from map from EarthNullSchool.net shows that we've got load pressure sitting to the north of Scotland and another low is to the southwest approaches. Uh, that's going to be pushing northwards and northeastwards across England, Wales over the uh, next 24 hours. I think the UK Met Office have now named that area of low pressure and it will be uh, a named storm bringing heavy rain and uh, strong winds, maybe gales, to some parts of the country. Tonight and particularly through tomorrow, central in temperature is sitting at 12.1, which is 1.6 degrees above 61 to 90 on average, and is provisional to uh, yesterday to the 21st of October. Means for GFS, upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles. Next couple of weeks on London today. So the red line is the 30 year upper air temperature average for London. Starting off around to below average with the upper air temperatures over the next week or so. Looks like it'll be quite chilly and actually quite cold over the uh, weekend. Bit of cold snap. But as we go into early November, we do see signs there that the upper, upper air temperature is looking up. So probably becoming uh, milder into early November. November. Precipitation wise, well, this is wet weather associated with uh, that vigorous area of low pressure. It's going to be moving in over the uh, next 24 hours or so. After that, though, we're going to be going drier, actually drier and colder for the end of week and into weekend. But the precipitation returns through the first week of November as it starts to turn significantly wetter once again. Temperature anomalies. Oops, that's flipped over again. How often does that happen when I do these videos late? Temperature anomalies for the next uh, five days up to the 27th of October below average precipitation anomalies for the next seven days up to the 29th of October coming out west average in England Wales driving average for Ireland and west of Scotland right let's start going for chart day to end Miss Avalanche UK met you're around talking big night on Saturday low pressure moving away Denmark leaving us in a very chilly uh, northwesterly to northerly wind. And those two winds continue through the weekend into the early part of next week as well. Winds back around to west and eventually to the southwest, so it starts to become milder as milder air uh, gets drawn up from the southwest. Drop most dry in the south, there could be some rain though up in the north. Then we've got Icon looking like that again, placing us uh, in that northerly flow through uh, the weekend. So a chilly weekend to come. Into the next week, wind bats round to the west again, and it starts to turn uh, milder with those winds shifting into the south southwest, which also building through the country, so it should be mostly dry under that. Uh, ridge and the KMA again with northwesterly to northerly winds persisting through to the beginning of next week. Then wind backs into the west, it turns milder. That could be very mild with long effect southwesterly pumping the air up from uh, the Azores there, Canary Islands, when we get through to Halloween to the end of October. 
31st. Uh, the month will be a lot of rain, though, uh, associated with that. Eventually, we flatten off that southwesterly and switch the wind back around to more of a westerly again by the 3rd of November. The GFS midnight run, again, with that northerly wind over the course of the weekend. But next week, we'll see the wind turning around to more of a westerly, uh, once more southwesterly, being very mild air uh, into the west of the north of Europe through uh, the course of days 8, 9 and 10. Proper old long fet southwesterly pumping up the air from the uh, Azores then. Uh, beyond that, well, we start to turn a little bit cooler uh, once again, but more than rather flat westerly now on this GFS run. So up to the 7th of uh, November, generally quite mild with high pressure south and low pressure up to the north. Where did the cold start to November go? Hmm. Well, let's have a look at GFS 6 there. Again, we've got northerly winds over the weekend. Next week, those northerlies are backing to a milder westerly, and we build high pressure through the west of Europe as well. Heading up toward day 10, uh, bring up a very mild southerly flow there to the uh, first day of November. And then switching a route again to more of a westerly and a very cyclonic westerly this time. So really unsettled there through the uh, opening uh, week or so of November. The trough of low sinking south was through country maintaining westerly winds zone up to the 7th of November. So it should be generally quite mild. Well, if you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Why not drop a comment? Let's know what you think about this and all of our videos and content. And don't forget to tell your friends about Gals Rubbish and get them to subscribe too. And thank you so much, everyone, uh, for doing that. We only need to put around seven or eight subscribers to get ourselves to uh, 19.6k. So if you could give us a sub, that'd be awesome. Thank you so much, everyone. GM, again, with normal wings on Saturday, looking quite chilly. Uh, with both north and northwesties, they carry on into the early part of next week as well. And the low pressure keep coming up to day 10. Day 10 itself, though, does look very mild with a long fetch southwest sea drawing up the air all the way from the Azores and the Canary Islands. And then the ECM is rounding it all off again. Northerly winds over weekend. Next week, we switch that around to more of a west or a southwesterly. And we bring in some pretty mild weather uh, with it. And check that out. Well, that's day 9. That's day 10. So we're drawing up a long fetch southwesterly. The air is originating from the Azores and the Canary Islands for the 1st of November. So that's going to be a very, very mild start to November, actually, for opening day. Probably seeing temperatures into the mid to upper teens Celsius. Now, beyond that, we do eventually show signs of trying to cut that southerly southwesterly off, but not really. We keep the southerly southwest going all the way up to the 6th of November there. So, again, that is a very mild first week to November. What happens to the cold first week to November? High pressure to the south and east, low pressure north and west. We follow the isobars that the air is originating from a long way south, probably from North Africa and some parts of Spain, wafting all the way up west of Europe. So that certainly looks like uh, a very mild, if not warm, for uh, a spell for early November. This is the precipitation forecast based on it. East End Run, winter winter, winter, lots of heavy rain for England and Wales uh, over tonight and lasting well into tomorrow as well. Eventually, all of that wet weather gets out of the way by the time we get through to Friday, winter showering west or northwesterly winds. Uh, more showery conditions into the early part of next week as well. Uh, and further heavy rain drawing up from the south there around days uh, 9 and 10. So a very unsettled outlook over the uh, next week or so. These are the on the table within the ECM ensemble today for day 10 from the Icelandic Met Office. Gets us to the 1st of November. 18 members of the ECM ensembles with low pressure to the west and northwest. Again, Drawing up that southwesterly flow. We've got 10 with low pressure to the north of the west, high pressure to the south and the east. And again, we draw in that long fetch southwest. We've got another 10 with high pressure just to our east and low pressure is out to the west. So you've guessed it, that's bringing up uh, a southerly flow again. And then we've got a further 10 with high pressure ridging through the west of Europe. That's been quite a bit dry weather with it. Should be quite mild with uh, projection to the north of us. And then finally, we've got three with low pressure just to the west. Bit of a hint of a Scandinavian high with that, but uh, otherwise drawing up winds for a southerly southwest direction. That looks like a very mild uh, first day, <coughs> excuse me, first day to November. 
on all of those options. In two weeks' time, these are the options that we've got. It'll get us to the 6th of November, 12 members of the ECM ensembles then with high pressure ridging from the Atlantic into West Europe. It should bring a lot of dry web with it, probably quite mild. We've got nine with deep low pressure though. Right at the top of the country, you've got another nine with low pressure to the north, high pressure to the south. That brings up wing southwesterly direction. Uh, we've got eight with high pressure just to our west and low pressure of Scandinavia. So a bit cooler with northwesterly winds. We've got further eight with high pressure to the east, low pressure to southwest, south bring wind up to the southwest direction. And then finally got five with high pressure to the west, low pressure to the east, that will bring down uh, a chillier northwesterly flow. Most of the options look very, well, all the options look uh, pretty mild or very mild for uh, day 10, 1st of November. Uh, by day 14, well, there's a range of options, but probably still generally on the milder side, I would imagine. And the CFS B2 finally beats a 500 millibar high tolerance breaking down sweet peers. First week period takes from 22nd to the 8th of October. Next week with low pressure to the east, high pressure to the west. And that brings in the wings from a chillier uh, northwesterly northerly direction. Week 2 is going to be uh, the 29th of October to the 4th of November. Travel low pressure over northern north east Europe. High pressure is out to the west. And again, bring down winds from a northwesterly uh, direction. Week 3 is going to be the uh, 5th through to the 11th of November. And then troughing over Scandinavia. Ridge going up towards Greenland. That could be quite cold. It brings in from a northerly direction. And then finally, week 4, back to milder weather again that's the 12th to the 18th of november with low pressure to the north and high pressure to the south uh miss time to try and highlight that again uh so we've got uh, low pressure to the north and high pressure is to the south and that brings wind in from a mild west or southwesterly direction uh quite a long way off so we shall see and time as ever will tell and we're done. If you have enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Why not drop a comment and let us know what you think about this sound of our videos and content. And don't forget to tell friends about guys. We'll get straight to the show, everyone, for doing that tomorrow. We're going to have a 6 m UK weather forecast. And there'll be a 10 to 14 day as well. Keep checking back to the channel for more. This one, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.